So we all know about the drama I've been facing from one person. But, like, in one breath, he'll tell me that I'm being narcissistic for sharing my own things and relate with this person that's trying to be supportive of him and I love. All I do is share other people's stuff, but while at the same time saying that I don't support anyone else's content and I just want them to support my own. Part this if you get why this is hilariously fucked up and funny. And this popped up on my feed, like, right after reading all of his messages over again to remind myself why I'm done with the drama. And it was just so perfect. But it gets funnier, because I went to his page to block him, and the majority of his stuff is also taken from other people, rather than posting his own stuff, after telling me that he posts his own stuff, right? And he does share his own beliefs in what he thinks but he does it on a completely different format. And I feel like it's very obvious that it isn't as great as he thinks it is. That maybe he really is just spitting out what he hears other people say. And he is trying to write books that are supposed to help people, but this is how he talks to them. I don't really think it's a surprise that he hasn't gotten anybody to take notice. At one point, he even goes so far as to as to um, insult the very people who are, in fact, following and believe in him. Yeah, right there, three and a half thousand dollars, not anybody who can count on him. No shit. No shit, you can't count on them because they can't count on you. I mean, if somebody you were looking up to to get help for things was talking like this, would you really want to buy the stuff they write? It is insanely ridiculous because the internet is forever and he could be advertising without needing to pay for it if he just accepted a little bit of help in the first place. But because it isn't monetary help, because he isn't getting what he wants right away, he's condescending, talking down to people, and honestly, it's just so much drama. He infantilizes people, makes fun of the trauma because he thinks it has to be dealt with a certain He got all on my case for not being open and sharing myself with the world. But if this is what he's talking about, why would I want I know exactly what is wrong in my life. I even know how to fix it. I know what I believe. I know what makes me feel connected. He thinks his way is the only way. All he's really done lately is serve to remind me why. I don't talk about myself and my situation. Why I save it all for therapy. And all of this is just from the past week. And it's just so depressing. Ugh. I wish I'd seen that sooner. I would have said something on his comments before I blocked him. Plain English. Ugh. That's just my issue. It's spelling errors and grammar and stuff. If you're going to be a writer, at least try to be able to sell yourself as one. So yeah, I will be making this friends only for very obvious reasons, just like the rest of them, but it's just so stupid. It's exhausting because I was supportive and I was constantly trying to help him. I would share his content with people. I even tried to edit his book once. Could not get through it because it gave me a headache. That's bad because I can read anything. But, you know, then he just comes out and attacks me when he's not getting what he wants and it's it's not acceptable. It's not okay. So yeah. Sorry to spend so long on this. I just needed to get this out of me so that I could move on to the next thing.